Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a homemade exponential system. I call this homemade because I came up with the problem, but these problems are very easy to come up with. Anyway, so we have a to the power b cubed plus b equals the 16th root of 32, and a to the power b equals the 4th root of 2. And we're going to be solving for a and b values. So, first of all, I want you to note one thing. We have b cubed plus b, and that can be written as b times b squared plus 1. So that's the idea we're going to use to solve this system. First of all, let's go ahead and start with the first one. And write this as a to the power b times b squared plus 1. And then now this can be turned into a to the power b to the power b squared plus 1. And we know that this expression is equal to the 16th root of 32 because it's given in the problem. But we also know that a to the power b is equal to the 4th root of 2, so we can go ahead and replace a to the power b with that. Let's go ahead and do it. Replace a to the power b with the 4th root of 2, raise it to the power b squared plus 1, and then set it equal to the 16th root of 32. And the rest should be easy, right? But let's go ahead and go through the steps. Uh, first of all, it makes sense if you write the 4th root and the 16th root using rational exponents. And what do I mean by that? If you have the nth root of a to the power m, then you can write it as a to the power m over n. Of course, there are some restrictions on, you know, a should be positive, so on and so forth. But anyways, we can go ahead and write this as 2 to the power 1 fourth, and then raise it to the power b squared plus 1, and then write this as 2 to the power 5, and then raise it to the power 1 over 16, right? You can kind of write it like this. Now, why are they different? Because we have a power on the outside, so I left it outside. But in the second case, we have a power inside the radical, so I kept it inside the radical. Make sense? Okay. It doesn't matter. We can switch them around, too. Let's multiply the exponents. The first one gives us 2 to the power b squared plus 1 over 4. The second one gives us 2 to the power 5 over 16. The bases are equal, so the exponents are also equal. From here, we get the following equality. b squared plus 1 over 4 equals 5 over 16. You can kind of cross multiply, I mean cross cancel here, 1 and 4, and then cross multiply next. 4b squared plus 4 equals 5. And then this should give you 4b squared equals 1. And from here we get b squared equals 1 fourth. Of course this has two results, and we're going to check those. b is either 1 half or negative 1 half. We're going to check to make sure that these are valid uh, valid exponents. Okay, so that's, that's the value of b. Let's go ahead and find a using these values. If b is equal to 1 half, what's the relationship between a and b? So we have to use one of these equations, right? How about using the second one, because it's a little easier. So we know that a to the power b, right, is equal to the fourth root of uh, 2, or we can write it as 2 to the power 1 fourth. doesn't matter whichever one is easier. Let's see. So now b is 1 half, so we have a to the power 1 half is equal to 2 to the power 1 fourth. This is the square root, so we can basically square both sides. And from here we get a equals 2 to the power 2 fourths, which is 2 to the power 1 half, which can be written as square root of 2. So if b is equal to 1 half, then a is equal to uh, square root of 2. Okay, we're going to write it as an ordered pair at the end, so don't worry about it. If b is equal to negative 1 half, then from here we're going to get a to the power b, which is negative 1 half, equals 2 to the power 1 fourth, just like before, the only difference is the exponent. We make it negative. And then raising both sides to the power, you can raise it to power 2, which is squaring it. That's going to give you a to the power negative 1 equals square root of 2. But this just means 1 over a. So from here, a becomes 1 over square root of 2, which can be written as root 2 over 2. And here is the result. We can write a comma b as square root of 2 comma 1 half or square root of 2 over 2 comma negative 1 half. 
end. This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.